It is Twitter Tuesday, and I'm so glad that you could join us again for the Leadersmith Podcast. Stay tuned. In a world of incompetent bosses, micromanagers, and petty tyrants, you are listening to The Leadersmith. Now, here is your host, Darren Gertis. Okay, so I have tried all kinds of combinations for Twitter Tuesday. This Twitter Tuesday is the funny meme edition. I tried looking up internet memes last time for Twitter Tuesday. I was on Parler for Twitter Tuesday. I was on LinkedIn for Twitter Tuesday. I was on uh, Twitter. I mean, that's how I started was I was just looking up, you know, little inspiring leadership uh, quotes or memes or whatever to just, you know, see what we could unpack from them. So I found last week when I was doing um, uh, just, you know, looking up leadership memes, the general search really wasn't that productive. Just being on Twitter was better. Um, But when I found what I found along the way were some funny leadership memes and I'll share these. I'll put a link below so that if you want to see a video version of this and see these leadership memes, you can see them. Okay, so let's go. Here I have um, not quite 20. I think I have uh, a little bit more than a dozen. So the first one says it has a a woman with a box on her head and she's holding it, you know, holding her hands up to her face, covering the box. It says leadership. Fail so hard, they choose someone else. (laughs) Okay, so that that, uh, struck me as funny. And it made me think of, I remember reading about an academic who and, and, and in academics we actually kind of think like this. We don't want to be in charge. We want to be in our classroom. It's it's weird. It's a it's, uh, I, you know I had an administrative role for five years and then I was like you know time to go back to my class because um, I got my PhD so I could teach my students, not so that I could be in charge of other academics. We it's a very different culture in academia. But I remember reading about a, an academic who was talking about yeah I just uh, you know made myself look so bad at doing. Uh, administrative things that they would overlook me and I wouldn't have to serve on not just committees, but in uh, the administration. Okay, so leadership fails so hard that they choose someone else. Okay, the next one says it's a um, uh, one man shaking the hand of another. One's a little bit older than the other. So I guess he's in charge, but it says leadership, getting what you want out of people for the absolute minimum compensation. Okay, so that's how a lot of people think about it. That's a terrible way of thinking about it. Yes, you have to be frugal and efficient and and wise about how you spend money, but your people are supposed to be the engine that's going to drive things. So if you try to to uh, you know uh, grow to greatness by penny pinching, it's just not going to work. Okay, so the next one has a ladder. And on the ladder, there's a rung missing. One of the rungs is also a knife with the edge turned up so that when you would step on that rung, you'll slice your foot. And it says leadership. The more you're going up, the more you need to tell between true supporters and backstabbers. Now, unfortunately, that's true in many organizations. That's unfortunate, but sometimes that is true that the higher you go, the more people are kind of out to get you. That's terrible if that's the case. The next one has a supervisor in a shirt and tie with his hand on the shoulder of another man. This is a kind of a uh, some kind of industrial plant or something. And it says leadership, someone who can't do your job telling you you're doing it wrong. And very often that happens, whether it's in a white collar or blue collar kind of setting, like the boss doesn't actually know how to do your job and he's trying to tell you how to do it. And that that can be pretty frustrating. Okay, the, the next one I actually show in class, I, I just thought it was pretty funny. It's, so it's a it's a meme from Star Wars, and it has Darth Vader holding up one of these um, Imperial whoever's in charge, and he's he's holding them up. I, I don't remember what it was. Like He was saying something in the movie like, I find your uh, lack of faith disturbing or something along those lines. But at any rate, so he's holding them up off the ground uh, with his arm, and it says, the best leaders lift people up rather than tear them down. And it's funny because, you know, the, the the difference between what, you know, Darth Vader's obviously doing and what it's actually saying, it's true. The best leaders lift people up rather than tear them down. Um, it's just kind of jolting and it's pretty funny. Okay, the next one is a bunch of sheep on a cliff. One of the sheep is going off the cliff and it says leadership. 
It depends on the leader. <laughs> okay, so that's pretty funny because you like, you know, don't follow that guy off the cliff. So it depends on the, the caliber of the leader and whether he's leading you the right direction and that kind of thing. So that was pretty funny as well. All right, the next one is a Austin Powers meme. So it's not Austin Powers himself, but it's, um, I think it's Dr. Evil. He looks like he's wearing something from North Korea. He looks like an old James Bond villain. He's surrounded by some of the other villains, and I can't name them. I don't remember. I saw like five minutes of the movie um, before I got bored. And so he's laughing, they're laughing, and the meme says this, when leadership asks about feedback, <laughs> and, and I thought, you know, there's something really right about that because I, I've been in those meetings too when the boss asks, okay, so ask me anything that you want to ask. And you know, it's, I mean, it's for show. He doesn't actually want you to ask uh, anything. He doesn't want you to ask what's really important because, you know, if you do, you're going to be in trouble. He's going, you know, you, you're going to become, um, you know, persona non grata. You're going to be uh, passed over for promotions or given extra work or whatever. And everybody knows that. And it's quite clear. And everybody's looking around like, who's going to be the sacrificial lamb to ask? Nobody wants to ask. So, um, yeah, that's just a, a sign of a dysfunctional culture if you experience that. Okay, next one. This is a, a meme from the movie Office Space. It's the two consultants that come in and they're asking the the main character, I think his name is Peter, the main character about like what he does and how he does it. And uh, the meme says this, we're not micromanaging you. Just tell us everything you do in a day, how many times you do them, and how long it takes. <laughs> And there are people that really believe like they're they're grilling you. I mean, I've I've known bosses that have done this. They they have um, you know, the, the, I'm not I'm not a micromanager, but then they do all those things that micromanagers do. If I've learned one thing in uh, let's see, how long have I been doing this? In about 15 years, uh, yeah, at least 15 years of teaching MBA students. <laughs> They hate micromanagers. I mean, uh, uh, if you can, if you just add up all the things that they hate about work and put it top of the list will be micromanagement. Just don't micromanage. Uh, when you micromanage, you're telling people that you don't trust them. So that's why we hate micromanagers. Okay, let's go on to the next one. The next one says teamwork. Teamwork means never having to take all the blame yourself. <laughs> I think there's something hilarious about that because, yeah, I mean, there there is that kind of attitude by many people who are working on a team-based activity. Well, at least I'm not going to be the only one in trouble. Again, another sign of a dysfunctional culture. Teamwork means never having to take the blame yourself. <laughs> okay, the next one is a man about to be stabbed with a pen knife. Uh, there's a woman's arm with a pen knife, and it says, great leadership. They'll always have your back. Okay, and so woman's about to stab her with a penknife. Uh, there's a couple things that are funny about this. One, you know, backstabbing does happen, so I get why they're doing that. But, but the meme itself, whoever put this together, I don't think they meant this ironically, but the way that they're holding the penknife, if they do stick that into somebody's back, it's going to fold into their own hand and stab them back. And that's really what happens when you backstab somebody is that it's coming back, it's going to hurt you in the process so you got to be careful with that <laughs> okay the next one and this is also pretty funny the leadership it's oh by the way so what you see is a woman's shoes a woman's shoes and her legs up to mid calf and then you see a row of men's shoes and, and uh pants up to just above the ankle behind that so a woman is standing in front of a row of men it says leadership Leadership is the ability to get men to do what they don't want to do and like it. Okay, so that is uh, leadership as it's experienced by many men in their households with their wives who are leading them, truly. Um, now, hopefully it's done kindly, but yeah, that, that does happen quite a bit. Okay, and the last one is a, a picture of Kim Jong-un, um, the dictator of North Korea, and he's clapping as he often finds himself doing on camera it says leadership it basically means you get all the food <laughs> and uh i think there are a lot of dictators who think that way i mean the way that dictators run their country isn't leadership it's depravity the the way that they abuse their people and take all the stuff it's it's this selfish depraved way of um just being tyrannical over their people i've often wondered 
why, I mean, the benefits of freeing up the population in order to grow and do more and be more, it's just so astounding compared to when a dictator runs their country like Kim Jong-un does in North Korea. Like at this, I've read reports in the last month, they're like eating dogs because they're starving because they screwed up their country because people like him are in charge. And, you know, when he's like a bottleneck, I, you know, if, if you can't do anything without his approval, then he becomes the bottleneck and no one person is able to run any large organization, let alone a country by themselves. Okay. So this was the meme edition, the funny meme edition of Twitter Tuesday. I hope you appreciated it. And if you want to see any of the videos, uh, or any of the, uh, the pictures, I, I'll put this into a video as well, and I'll put the link below. All right. So, Hey, thanks for listening. I hope that that helps you spur on some great thought about how to be, well, I was going to say how to be a good leader, but this is all like how to be a bad leader. So don't do those things and be the kind of leader that you would want to follow. Thank you.